light of our one infinite creator. We are those known to you as QO. This day we share our opinions on how awakening entities are coming to experience a universe in which time and space have given way to infinity and eternity. And the seeking of the metaphysical self has become more important than the approval of the world or any worldly gain that does not have its roots in love. The love of one doing the service. The love of one offering the self. This is the time of the blossoming of those entities upon your planet who have become aware of themselves as citizens of eternity. It is our opinion that all things are one. That all there is dwells within each entity. All things are thought. All thoughts. All emotions. All that is seen, all that is sensed in any way, has manifestation to the outer eye, but first has roots within that inner being that is connected not with larger spaces, but with infinity itself. For each of you is that holographic image of all that there is. Each of you is one thing. The small self cannot grasp the unity that is the truth of all your people upon your sphere of earth. It seems obvious to the outer eye that each entity is a person unto their self. And yet, just as a child awakens for the first time in her mother's arms and becomes aware of a new world of sight and sound and sensation, just so does the spiritual self within the human being awaken to alarm that only it can hear. No two entities have the same clock setting. There is no one time for spirits within bodies to awaken. For each seeker, that time of awakening is perfect and right, although it may not seem right to others. It always shall come to the one who is ready to deal with the implications of the new inner birth that constitutes the awakening into realization of the self as a spirit independent of space and time but wholly dependent upon love and light. For each is love and light, yet each also transduces love and light as it streams from the infinite creator into the earth plane. And so each of you, no matter the age or any details about the person, each, each who is awakening, awakening is a is receiver, receiver and a, and a transmitter, transmitter of vibration. vibration. Your, Your scientists, scientists tell, tell you that, that all, all that there is is made up of particles of energy, Vibrating at various vibrating speeds, at various speeds and creating various and creating energy various fields. energy fields. One, One such, such energy, energy field is that, is that in, which in which is contained, contained the spirit, spirit of, each of, of each of you. And when that and spirit, when spirit awakens, awakens, there is no there going, is no back, going sleep. back sleep. Once awake, the seeker must remain awake and alert. The question then becomes, How can I help this process of awakening along? How can I accelerate the pace of my spiritual evolution? We would suggest several ways in which this can be encouraged. Firstly, we would suggest that each awakened soul choose for the self that rule of life which most nurtures the spiritual child within, that child that dwells in the heart and can become mature only as the outer self makes room and time for it. Time spent in silence. Whether formal meditation is offered or whether it is simply sitting greatly aids the spiritual self within. Further, it helps to align the seeker with her or his personal destiny. For each has come with gifts to share, lessons to learn, and service to offer. Each has planned for the self companions along the way and good work to do. Each 
as hoped that within the veiled conditions of the physical illusion that constitutes consensus reality upon your planet, the awakening would occur and the choices would begin to be made, which would more and more allow the spiritual self within to mature. Meditation is not the only technique or method whereby one may encourage one's own spiritual evolution. Certainly, reading and listening to inspirational material is helpful. Certainly, the attempts to offer service to others always creates a more spacious environment for spiritual self to grow in. More helpful, however, than any of these practices is the persistent focus upon the mental and emotional awareness of the nature of the self within incarnation upon planet Earth. For as we said, each of you is as the radio, receiving and transmitting vibratory energy as good feelings, as good words, as good deeds. All of these are equal in the world of metaphysics, for thoughts are metaphysical things, and have shaped and substance and reality in the world of spirit. That is why the intentions the desires and the prayers of the seeker are so important. The greatest single practice for bringing seekers into more and more direct awareness of their role here within the planetary rise and vibration is simply to be. To be the deepest and most profound and true self of which one is capable. In this being there is a releasing of the doing for metaphysically speaking, it is not these, but rather being and essence, which are the gifts that we have to give each other. When a seeker becomes aware that it is a creature of will, discipline, and faith, then that person can simply allow those in-streaming vibrations of love and of light to move through the physical mental, emotional, and spiritual channels of the body and out into a world that so desperately needs those vibrations of undistorted love and light. Each seeker is here to become a direct co-creator by allowing that which is the Logos, that one great original thought to be us and to move through us and out into the earth plane. By blessing this energy and yet not holding it, by knowing there is enough, an infinite amount of this love and light, that it cannot be spent, the seeker is affirming that which is. We wish each entity those delights of travel, those mountaintop experiences, those great and profound realizations that come. Those times are precious, and yet each of you will find that when all is said and done, it is the vibratory level of the beingness of each entity that sticks in the mind and in the heart like no other sense memory can. Each of us knows blessing when we experience it. All of us have known those entities who, by their very being, improve the vibrations of a place. Yet, always know that it is not from you that these things come, it is through you. There is not a key that unlocks the door of the heart that has anything to do with the human mind or the will in the worldly sense of that mind. Rather, it is the naked soul, the bare and unadorned spirit that is the object of perfection that is love itself, and that is each of you. May you find ever more creative ways to share the infinite love and light that will come through you by blessing that energy and by consciously sending it out into the world. We encourage each who hears these words to take the self very seriously in terms of developing a daily practice that feeds the metaphysical self. Whether by meditation or prayer, contemplation or rumination, 
the gazing at inspired objects or the reading of inspired words. You will find these techniques of entraining the mind to be most helpful. There are many ways in which the person who sees the hunger and the thirst of the self that is emerging for metaphysical truth to offer that truth to the inner self. It is our opinion, however, that truth is a fluid and changing thing, and very personal and subjective in its nature. For each entity, there will be landmark truths that come and stay for a very long time. There will also be truths that are seen to, seen transform, to transform and to migrate, and to migrate as lessons come to one and as the self develops. We encourage each of you to trust in the self, to listen to those hunches and intuitions that are the only voice into the conscious mind of the deeper and larger self that exists below the threshold of consciousness. Each of you is as the fruit of the true vine. Each of you has roots in heaven. Within each of you dwells perfection, truth, and, and infinite, infinite love. You and none other. Spiritual maturity comes to those As who seek to grow straight. May race. you love each other regardless you of what others each other may think. And may you bring each other home. Move slowly and thoughtfully and wait for inspiration. Maturity will come faster to those who yield their ambitions and ask, What is the Creator's will for me today? Where is the love in this moment? The Creator lies within. There is no separation. The love in this moment is you. May you carry that truth and wear it as a crown. And even when the crown sits heavy upon the head, may you serve. May you reach out to others. May you respond to requests for help with the best that is in you. May you encourage others in their paths. For you are the hands, voices, the caring of the infinite creator within the earth. You and none other. As the old chant goes, may you love each other, may you care for each other, and may you bring each other home. We would at this time transfer this contact we will leave you now in the love and in the light. We are those of QO. Thank you for calling us to share you and to take part in your meditation. This experience is precious to us for each of your vibrations is beautiful. And we greatly appreciate to be able to blend with that. Also, we thank you because this sharing of opinions gives us the opportunity for service to others in the way that we feel our gifts are best shared. As always, we would ask that from these thoughts, each take only that which has personal meaning, leaving the rest behind. For each seeker has excellent powers of discrimination, and we encourage their use. There is no authority greater than the authority of the inner heart and that feeling of rightness.